Hi guys, today I'm gonna talk about a non-inverting operational amplifier for DC current measurement application. Okay, uh, so suppose you want to monitor and measure. You want to monitor and measure uh, the DC current of any DC device of any DC actor. So how will you do it? Okay, so I'll be discussing this topic today. So uh, let's start with theory first. Okay. So what is non-inverting op-amp? All right. Since you are applying your input signal at plus terminal of op-amp, that is why that is why it is called non-inverting op-amp. All right. So what is the gain of non-inverting op-amp? The gain of non-inverting op-amp is one plus RF divided by R two. What is the V out of non-inverting op-amp? The V out of non-inverting op-amp is V in into one plus R F divided by R two. All right. So suppose suppose I have considered one example here. Suppose you are applying fifty millivolt DC signal at input terminal of op-amp with R two value one k, R F value. 47k, then your gain would be 48, and your uh, V out is 2.4 volt. All right. So you have to do some math here to get the gain value and the V out value using this formula A V and V out. Okay. Hope you will do it. So let me go in simulation now. Uh, okay. All right. So here. Uh, I have directly given one ampere DC current source, okay? One ampere DC current source, and I am measuring the current using this 50 milliohm shunt resistance, okay? 50 milliohm shunt resistance. You have to very careful while choosing this shunt resistance R5 in terms of wattage value and tolerance, okay? You have to very careful, okay? So the signal goes to non-inverting terminal of op-amp, and the gain of the gain of non-inverting terminal of op-amp is a uh, 48. Okay, R3 equals to 1k and R2 equals to 47k, and you will get output here, and you will uh, monitor the output. You will measure the output using microcontroller. Okay, so let me run the simulation now. Okay. Okay. So first, I'll show you the current. Okay. Okay. Uh, the current is one ampere here. Since I'm applying, since I'm I'm applying one ampere current source, so current flow through this fifty milliohm resistance is also one ampere. Then you have to monitor the output voltage. Okay. Okay. I'll click click it here. Okay. So that is coming two point three nine. That is coming two point three nine. What and what was your calculated value? Calculated value was two point four, which is very closer. Which is very closer to simulated value. Okay. So two point four volt is going. Your microcontroller, right? So microcontroller is reading 2.4 volt through its ADC ADC channel. Okay. So how will microcontroller now calculate the current? How will microcontroller now calculate the current? So here you have to do some reverse math, right? You have to do some reverse math. How how will you do? Uh, how will you do? So here you you are getting 2.4 volt. Okay. 2.4 volt that is coming here, and uh, your gain is 47. Your gain is 48. Pardon, beg your pardon, 48. So 2.4 divided by 48, you will get 50 millivolt over non over minus terminal. Okay, here. Then, as uh, because of virtual ground, you will get 50 millivolt here across R5. Then, if you are getting 50 millivolt across R5, you have to divide by 
फिफ्टी मिली वोल्ट डिवाइड बाई फिफ्टी मिली ओम यू विल गेट वन एम पी ए करेंट दैट इज हाउ माई माइक्रो कंट्रोलर दैट इज हाउ योर माइक्रो कंट्रोलर मेजर वन वन एम पी ए करेंट ओके सो सो दिस सर्किट इज बेसिकली यूज इन डी सी डिवाइस करेंट मेजरमेंट करेंट मेजरमेंट टू आइडेंटिफाई टू आइडेंटिफाई द फॉल्ट ओके टू आइडेंटिफाई द फॉल्ट Suppose if there is some short circuit in your DC device, uh, so because of that you you will you have to monitor you have to monitor your rated current of DC device any DC device rated current of any DC device if current flows more than that more than rated current uh, considering that.